finalist. So our next finalist is Tim Sung from University of Adelaide, and he'll be presenting on an unbiased gene expression analysis of the delayed fracture healing observed in Zucker diabetic fatty rats. Whenever you're ready, Tim. Whilst the COVID pandemic is affecting the world, let it not draw our attention away from the real pandemic, the diabetes pandemic. We currently have an ocean that divides us between Australia and Chicago. But do you know what we both have in common? Lots of McDonald's and KFC. And that Australia and America are now one of the leading countries in obesity and diabetes. Patients with diabetes have complicated hospital admissions, and that extends orthopedics. Fracture healing in diabetic patients is prolonged by a staggering 87% and has a threefold higher risk of complications, including non-union and the formation of false joints. Although diabetes is so prominent, specific mRNA gene expression associated with delayed fracture healing is yet to be explored. If we can understand the factors that contribute to delayed fracture healing in patients with diabetes, then we can target our management to these factors and accelerate fracture healing. So we sought out to discover any molecular level pathological changes to the bone healing process by identifying gene expression of diabetic rats compared to the non-diabetic rats. So the question we were trying to answer with this research was, number one, is fracture healing delayed in diabetic rats? And number two, what mRNA gene expressions are upregulated in diabetic rats? So we analyzed 12 mice and split them into cohorts of diabetic and non-diabetic rats. The femur was artificially fractured and the callus formed four weeks post-surgery was harvested and analyzed for x-ray and differential gene expression. Radiographs clearly showed delay fracture healing in the diabetic group. Additionally, we found significant upregulation in inflammatory gene expressions, notably the IL-6 and the CCL group. Therefore, we postulate that diabetic mice had a, much, uh, had a more biochemically inflamed state around the fracture site, which is clinically significant. We think this is much higher than physiologically expected and is implicated in delayed fracture healing. So what now? The next aspect of this research will be to advance the human trials. We believe that similar techniques that we use on rats can be safely applied to humans and verify if the same mRNA gene expression is found in fracture sites. And if so, the question is, is this clinically significant for us to pay attention to? Can we target these specific gene expressions to reduce time in fracture healing? This may be the pathway we take to address the issues that affect our generation, delayed fracture healing in diabetic patients. We need to start thinking about this today before the real pandemic is out of our control. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tim. Uh, okay, so if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat or judges, feel free to unmute yourselves. I see Hamish. Uh, I'll just wait for a moment to see if you've got a question coming in on the chat first. Uh, so but if I've got a question for Tim, if, if there isn't any coming on the chat. I don't see one yet. You can go ahead. Oh, hang on. I think there's one just come in now. Then. So, so let, let's... I can see it. Um, so Evan asks, um, or says, a lot of these transcripts are also seen in senescent cells. Did you look at senescent markers like P16 or P21? Thanks for the question. So with this, gene, uh, with this study, we've analyzed over 1,000 genes, but then we've narrowed our 1,000 genes into 18 significant genes, which was um, filtered out by using a false discovery rate of less than 20%. Um, so out of those, I didn't look, we didn't look specifically for P16, P21 markers, um, which I, from my understanding, wasn't a part of the 18 genes that was upregulated. Some other genes that, was, that we specifically looked into was IL-6, CFCL1, and then 1, 2, 3, and CCL7, and 20, and the other things like sclerostin. Excellent. Thank you so much. 